In this lesson, we're going to add the article list. You can display a list of articles for one or more categories. So let's click on this. Okay, now in your Joomla article section here, you have a way that you can, you know, you can create unlimited categories and also unlimited articles. So if you have a particular section, you know, that you want to display on your site, then this is the perfect way to do that. So right now you select the category and let's go over here to the category section. I have just one category, but you can have as many as you, you know, as you need. Uh, then you you just have to come here and then just put the, the category name and it's going to automatically, you know, find that for you. So let me just delete this one here. So right now there's nothing here. Okay, let's say I have a category. Once you click there, it's going to list all the categories in the drop down menu uh, for you to, to use. So you click on categorize and it's going to pull up the articles in there. So let me just come here and just I'm just going to create another article and I'm, I'm another category and I'm going to assign some articles to that. Okay, just call it category one and I'm going to come over now to the article section and I'm going to assign two of these articles. I'm going to assign this articles over to the new category Okay, two. And there's also another way I could have did that with the batch with the batch um, process here. But since I already started. Okay, so let me get this one okay so i have those transferred over now and let's go back here to the jsn and we'll put in if you put in put that in it's not going to show right now because it hasn't registered yet so i'm just going to cancel let me come back here i'm just going to cancel this and i'm going to open it up again so edit you know the process in the system and then come back to the article list so now when you click here you see the cat one so there's just two articles here but when you click on this cat one the new category we created is going to add the other ones there for you which is really great and you can also add the authors right now there's just the author which is super user but if you have you know different authors that create different things on your website you can also you know inc inc include them here as well and here you have the option of the number of display items how many items do you want to display right now it's set to five I can let me change this here I can set it to three and it's going to display just three articles I can set it to two and it's going to display just two articles. So this is really, really awesome. And then you can set the fill orders here. By and you can set the um, order direction. Do you want it to ascend or descend? Uh, the date filter. Do you want it to show the dates? And then you can you can choose the the fill. You know, date fill created by modify. Uh, and then you go over to the styling. Also, real quick here. Um, let me just note that. You can use this too for your K2, and if you have Easy Block, which is another component. So if you have a, if you have some K2 articles, you can click here and you can get the source uh, from that. Right now, the source is pulling primarily from the Joomla uh, default. So let's go over here to the styling. You can choose the layout you want for this. So you have right now is just the list layout. When you choose this other layout, it's going to change uh, to give a little bit more description. And then you can choose this one. Now these here are meant to have images with them. This one is just for the list alone. So if you have images in your articles, then it's going to list them. It's going to have this layout with it, and it's going to look like that. And then you can show a description. You can show the description where it's limit. So if you take that off, it's going to show just for that. And you can choose, you know, the length. You want to show thumbnails. Uh, the thumbnail type is a custom. Is it original? And then you can choose the thumbnail dimensions for it. And then do you want to show metadata, show uh, category? So when I uncheck that, the category is no longer there. So let me, let me put this back. You notice that the category appears where it says on categorize. And then you have the item list. You can choose the different styles that you want. You want it to be like a bullet. You want it to be square, uppercase. So you have a lot of different options that you can choose from this. I'm just going to leave that at none. And do you want to show a description? So this one here is managing for the first for the second item. So let's say you wanted to show just the titles and you don't really want the uh, description with it. Well, you click no and it's going to list just the titles for these. And keep in mind that we have we, we chose to set it to just three. If you want to change the number that's there, you can just put it back to four and it's going to show the four. 
and then you have you know the item list this is for the second part and this is for the first so based on the number of categories that you have you can change the, the layout for each category uh, individually and then you want to show metadata for them and you want to have a read more this have this read more so if you don't want to read more you click on no it's going to remove that read more for this part and if you want the same thing for the, the top click no is going to remove that and then animation you get to choose the animation as well so as you can see there you know a lot of different options here that you can you can choose to go with it so let's go back here and let's click on save so let's take a look on the front end so there you have it here at the bottom you know nice style like this so they can just click on it and it's going to take them to that particular page for them to see what this article is about so that's another you know easy way for you to you know make your, your information a little more condensed sometimes I go on certain websites and they have so much going on and it's it's hard to focus on something but when you have things organized like this then your your readers your users especially for like a blog site or an informational site it makes things a lot easier for people to find what they're looking for and move 